Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to set up potato graphics for Fortnite. Now, we do have three filters for this. We have the lowest, we have a medium quality, and then we also have a high quality. So what you're going to need for this to work is you're going to need NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It'll be linked in the description. I will also provide this NIP, this NIP folder file here that will help perform your performance in your game if you want to use it. You don't have to use it. It's really up to you, okay? So what you want to do also is make sure that in your Epic Games launcher, you have DirectX 12 installed and enabled. So we're going to go to our Fortnite, go to our options, go to DirectX 12 shaders, and then make sure it is installed or ticked. If it is not, tick it and it will install it and then you'll be ready, ready to go. Once you have done that, go to your NVIDIA profile inspector. And I'm going to talk about three filters here. I'll just give you the numbers here and you can test them out yourself. So what you're going to do when you open this folder up or open this file is make sure you go to profiles on the top left and, and search for Fortnite. Okay, press enter and then make sure that this up here is correct. If it's correct, you're good to go. Now you want to do is you want to scroll down to the anti-aliasing. Now I already have it set up, but what you want to do is you want to go to transparency super sampling and then make sure that it is set to mode replay mode all. Okay. Once you have done that, you can scroll down even farther. And then in your texture filter, what you want is you're going to want to make sure that the controlled LOD driver is set to off. Mine's already set to off. Make sure yours is also off. Okay. Then you want to change these two values to the same value. So we're going to want to set this one to zero or X zero X zero 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 twenty five. So six zeros after the X and then twenty five. Then you want to do is you want to copy this and paste this into the second one. Now you can see this value isn't that, but on the right side, you can see this is the value of the actual code here. So this is what we're looking for. This will set this to set to this, even though this value will look different after we press apply. Next thing you want to make sure you set this to clamp should already be on clamp and make sure it's set to clamp and then the quality make sure this is set to high quality this will most likely be set to high performance but make sure it's set to high quality now if you want the medium quality one you all you have to do is go here and just change this to plus three also with this one plus three if you want a higher higher end one all you have to do is change this to plus 1.5 and then this one same thing 1.5 Now, when that's all said and done, what you want to do is you want to press on the apply changes in the top right. This will apply your settings. Now, if you want to ever revert your settings back to the normal, all you have to do is go up here and press on this NVIDIA icon here that says restore current profile. And this will reset all of your settings back to normal. After you've done that, we're going to open up Fortnite and we're going to go into these settings. Once your game is open, we're going to want to go into our settings. And then once we're in our settings, we want to make sure that the rendering mode is set to DirectX 12. And we're going to scroll down to make sure that we have our Nanite virtualized geometry set to on. This is important because this is going to make sure your ground isn't completely gone. Okay. So now that we're in game, this is kind of what the builds look like here. Sorry, I'm not the best builder ever, but this is kind of what they look like. Different qualities there. And see how it looks like when I'm hitting them and everything. This is also the third. This is the middle option. This is the plus three option. This is what this looks like. So you can see. This is what the builds look like when you're placing them in their building. So not too bad. When you edit, this is what it looks like. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video and peace out.